Hey guys myself Sook Ant, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video we have learned about diclofenac and acyclofenac, if you didn't watch that video then click on the i button. And subscribe my channel. In this video we will learn different combination of diclofenac and acyclofenac. And their uses to treat different diseases. So let's get started. Diclofenac and acyclofenac both of these drugs are combined with too many other drugs to get relief from different diseases. I will discuss many important combination of these drugs. Our first drug is Diclofenac sodium sustained release 100 mg. These preparation consist of drug particles that have different coatings dissolving at different intervals of time. It prolongs the duration of action of the drug and reduces the frequency of administration and improves patient compliance. Example. Tablet diclofenac has duration of action 12 hours. Whereas diclofenac sustained release preparation has a duration of action of 24 hours. It is used in dental pain, pain after surgery, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis etc. In clinical practice you will be able to see enteric coated tablets. Actually it is coated with a material that delays the release of medication till it reaches the intestine. Enteric coating of a drug prevents the destruction of the drug by gastric acid. Next is diclofenac sodium injection 75 mg. This is also used by practitioners many times for the treatment of acute gout, dysmenorrhea, acute inflammatory condition, pre- and post-operative pain, and acute trauma condition. Our next combination of diclofenac is diclofenac potassium, serapeptidase, and paracetamol. This combination is used by many medical departments like in gynecological departments, for postpartum hematomas, breast engorgement, acute mastitis, episiotomy, and pelvic inflammatory diseases. In the department of dental, for root canal treatment, denture fixation, alveolar abscesses, periodontitis gingivitis, in ENT departments, for sinusitis, rhinorrhea, pharyngitis, tonsillitis, laryngitis, in surgery, for post-operatively major and minor surgeries, crush injury, burns etc. In orthopedic departments, for crush injuries, slip disc, chronic osteomyelitis, multiple fractures, spinal disc prolapse, dislocation and lacreation, and intra-articular fractures etc. Many combination of diclofenac like diclofenac sodium and paracetamol, diclofenac sodium and serapeptidase, and many more combinations which are of similar use given according to the patient's condition. Now combination of acyclofenac, acyclofenac potassium, serratiopeptidase and paracetamol. Acyclofenac is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, which acts on the inflammatory site and reduces the pain and inflammation. Paracetamol is an analgesic and antipyretic. It ensures faster onset of action. And serapeptidase is a proteolytic agent. It enhances penetration of acyclofenac and ensures faster pain relief. It also improves action of antibiotics. It accelerates liquidification of pus and mucus. And has anti-inflammatory, anti-odmic and fibrinolytic activity and acts rapidly on localized inflammation. It is used in post-operative inflammation, sport injuries, osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, dental inflammation or pain tonsillitis, sinusitis, pharyngitis, muscular and skeletal pain, infected painful wounds, 
and dysmenorrhea, etc. Our next combination is acyclophenac and thiocalcoside. In this combination, thiocalcoside is a muscle relaxant agent with anti-inflammatory and analgesic action. It relaxes certain muscles in body and relieves the stiffness pain and discomfort caused by strains, sprains or then injury to muscle. It is mostly used in trauma surgery, neuromuscular pain, neck and shoulder pain, postoperative pain, rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, dental pain, ankylosing spondylitis, etc. Next is acyclophenac, paracetamol, and chlorazoxazone. This combo is used in the patients with post-traumatic pain, cervical pain or low back pain, gynecological pain. Next is acyclophenac, paracetamol, and trypsin chymotrypsin. This is used for the treatment of post-traumatic edema soft tissue injury, fractures and dislocation, sciatica, etc. Next, acyclophenac and drotoverine. It is used in pelvic inflammatory disease, episiotomy, biliary colic, dysmenorrhea, postoperative spas, combination of acyclophenac and rabeprazole is used in chronic gastritis, healing of duodenal ulcer, irritable bowel. Friends, these are not all the combinations, many more are there given according to the patient's diagnosis. One important note also I want to include. Some drugs should be avoided in patients with bronchial asthma. Like NSAIDs, aspirin, ibuprofen, diclofenac, etc., paracetamol can be used. Beta adrenergic blockers. Cholinergic agonists. Thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel.